October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and this half hour, our newscast is dedicated to the fight against breast cancer. On the front lines in that fight, mammograms, an x-ray of the breast. Imaging has come a long way, finding smaller cancers earlier. Ladies, a mammogram is one of the best ways you can win the fight against breast cancer. At 53, Joy Long went in for her first mammogram. She knew she was late doing it, and right away, doctors spotted something. Nervous at first, um, but I knew, you know, cysts ran on our family, um, but I was still anxious about it. That's when doctors at Riverside Radiology pulled in the ultrasound to get a closer look. We found a spot on her mammogram that we wanted to characterize with ultrasound. It's a very small nodule. With this demo breast, you want to throw that on there. Radiologist Dr. Peter Lafferty shows us how this mammogram and ultrasound combo works. If something is spotted on a mammogram, they can utilize an ultrasound to determine if they need more tests or if it's just a cyst. Using the two together can give doctors a more accurate look at anything suspicious right away. So it's very rapid and very precise. And what a relief for patients waiting for test results wondering if something is wrong. This combo can provide answers and ease worries faster. And for Joy, she got good news. It's the thing we want to find when we find a spot on a man rim because we can tell the patient, you're fine, don't worry about it, we'll see you next year. When it comes to early detection, Dr. Lafferty says self-breast exams and mammograms are critical for finding breast cancers early. Women should have an annual mammogram beginning at age 40 and earlier if they have a family history of the disease. And there are breast MRIs and genetic testing for those in high-risk groups. Really any woman who seems to have a cluster of cancers uh, for uh, their first degree relatives, mothers, sisters, grandmothers, uh, and then aunts uh, and close cousins, uh, starts to raise the red flag and, and uh, you know, a certified genetics counselor can map that out. Early detection is key to fighting and surviving breast cancer. And Dr. Lafferty says with more advanced imaging, cancers are being found at a smaller size and earlier stage. After her mammogram, Joy has peace of mind. It was like a heavy weight was lifted off my shoulders. It was nice to see what they were doing and the size of it. Um, and they pointed out you had the, the screen, you could look at it while they were doing it all. And it was nice to have the answer right then and there. In addition to yearly mammograms, women can also do monthly self-breast exams. And starting today, at the beginning of each month, we will remind women to do both as part of our Think Breast Health initiative. Now, knowing what to look for here is critical. According to the Mayo Clinic, you may notice a breast lump or thickening that feels odd. There may be discharge from the nipple, either bloody or clear, along with a change in the size or the shape of the breast. You may notice changes to the skin of the breast, like dimpling and inverted nipple nipple, peeling or flaking of the nipple, or redness of the skin of the breast. Or there may be swelling in the armpit or persistent tenderness or itching of the breast as well. Cat